Let's walk on the wise path. What if I told you there's a hidden key inside you, one that unlocks an ancient, profound connection with the divine? Imagine discovering a part of yourself, buried deep but waiting to be awakened, that brings you closer to an extraordinary state of peace, clarity, and purpose. This is not just a lofty concept. Jesus himself hinted at it. It's a pathway to higher awareness, something known as Christ consciousness. By tapping into this hidden knowledge, you begin to see the world and yourself differently. No longer are you merely swept up in the chaos of daily life. Instead, you become a conscious creator of your reality. Today, we're diving into teachings inspired by Jesus, including the secrets of the pineal gland, often called the third eye. We'll explore why this tiny gland is key to unlocking Christ consciousness, a state where love, compassion, and deep wisdom flow effortlessly. By the end, you'll have practical, actionable steps to awaken this power within yourself, allowing you to embrace your true spiritual potential and connect with the divine in a way that transforms every aspect of your life. Ready to take the first step? Let's get started. In John 10, 34, Jesus poses a remarkable question. Is it not written in your law? I said you are God's imagine what he's saying here, not just to his followers, but to all of us. He's reminding us that we each carry a spark of the divine within. We are not meant to live small, victimized lives dictated by circumstance. Instead, we are beings with immense potential, capable of shaping our reality and experiencing life as conscious co-creators alongside God. This statement is a profound reminder that, beneath our everyday worries and doubts, we hold something precious divine potential. Imagine it like a light hidden under layers of self-doubt, societal conditioning, and fear. When we recognize this light within, we can start peeling back these layers. It's a journey of self-discovery, an unveiling of our true selves, that allows us to see life through the lens of possibility and purpose. Realizing this divine spark inside can give us a new perspective on challenges, transforming them into opportunities for growth. It's like shifting from a black and white view of the world to one full of vibrant colors and infinite potential. Genesis 2, 7 speaks of God breathing life into man, and this moment of creation tells us something remarkable. It's not just about physical life, it's about the divine energy, the spark of God that's within us all. Think about the very air we breathe. With every inhale, we're not only taking in oxygen, but reconnecting to this life force that's both within and beyond us. It's like having a small piece of the divine inside, a reminder that our existence is woven with something far greater than we often realize. This breath of life symbolizes the profound connection between God and humanity. We're more than just material beings going through the motions. We're vessels of this sacred energy, living manifestations of the Creator. When we remember this, our lives start to feel more purposeful. Imagine it like tuning into a frequency of wisdom and peace that guides you through life. The more we align with this divine energy, the more resilient we become ready to transcend the limitations imposed by society or our own self-doubt. Recognizing this breath of life can shift our perspective, allowing us to live fully, aware of the sacredness within us. Christ, consciousness is more than a spiritual concept. It's a profound transformation that invites us to connect deeply with love, compassion, and divine wisdom. Think of it as a state of awareness where the barriers separating us from others dissolve leaving us in a flow of unity and peace. This isn't about religious boundaries. It's about reaching a level of consciousness that allows us to embody universal love and empathy. Jesus referenced this potential in John 14, 12, when he said, Whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these. This statement holds incredible power. Jesus isn't saying that greatness is exclusive to a select few. Instead, He's showing us that each of us can achieve extraordinary things. Christ consciousness allows us to step out of ego-driven fears and embrace a higher perspective, seeing ourselves and others as divine expressions of love. Imagine it like waking up from a dream where everything seemed disconnected 
to finding that we are all threads in the same fabric. This awakening allows us to live with more compassion, awareness, and purpose, spreading light in a world that often feels dark. Deep within our brains lies a small, pinecone-shaped gland known as the pineal gland. Ancient cultures and spiritual practices revered this tiny gland, calling it the third eye or seat of the soul. Although science describes its role in regulating sleep through melatonin production, spiritual traditions suggest it has a far greater purpose. It's a gateway to higher consciousness. In Matthew 6, 22, Jesus said, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. This passage, often interpreted metaphorically, hints at the pineal gland. When we activate this inner eye, it's believed that we access a deeper level of insight and clarity, one that transcends ordinary perception. Imagine the pineal gland as a bridge, connecting us to higher realms of awareness, enabling us to see beyond the surface and into the heart of reality. By tapping into the power of the pineal gland, we allow our consciousness to expand, opening ourselves to intuition, spiritual insights, and a greater understanding of our place in the universe. It's like upgrading from a basic perception of life to one filled with depth, meaning, and interconnectedness. Meditation is the key to unlocking the pineal gland's potential, allowing us to connect with Christ consciousness. Think of meditation as a tuning fork for our spirit helping us resonate with the divine frequency that exists within and around us. In today's busy world, where distractions pull us in countless directions, meditation offers a sanctuary, a place where we can let go of chaos and align ourselves with a higher vibration. The best time for meditation is often said to be Brahma Muhurta, the hour of the Creator, which is about 1.5 hours before sunrise. This is a time of profound stillness where nature itself seems to be in harmony, amplifying our connection to the divine. Psalm 119, 48 reminds us, my eyes stay open through the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promises. It's during these quiet, early hours that we can most easily access the depth of our spiritual selves. As we meditate, we begin to experience clarity, peace, and a heightened sense of awareness. It's like diving into a calm, deep ocean where we find answers, understanding, and a connection to our inner divinity that's both grounding and elevating. Creating a sacred space for meditation amplifies its power, offering a designated spot where we can escape the outside world and turn inward. Think of it as creating an energetic portal, a personal sanctuary filled with symbols, items, or objects that resonate with your spirit. This space becomes more than just a physical area. It's a mental and spiritual refugee that prepares you for deep connection. When you step into this space, it's like stepping into a different world one where distractions fade and the energy supports your journey within. Candles, crystals, spiritual symbols, or even just a comfortable mat can help make the environment special. Imagine the feeling of entering a place where everything around you is aligned with peace and mindfulness. Over time, as you return to this sacred space, it builds up energy, becoming more potent with each session. Within this environment, your meditation practice deepens. The mind settles more easily and the body relaxes, allowing the pineal gland to become more receptive. This is where the magic happens, where the journey to Christ consciousness becomes tangible and you start to feel the quiet but powerful transformation within. Breathwork is one of the most effective tools for activating the pineal gland and accessing deeper states of consciousness. Through techniques like diaphragmatic breathing or alternate nostril breathing, you can calm your mind and center yourself, making it easier to enter a meditative state. Think of breathwork as the bridge between body and spirit, allowing you to channel divine energy within. When combined with visualization, breathwork becomes even more powerful. Imagine that, with each inhale, you're drawing in a radiant light, a divine energy that fills your entire body. Visualize this light gathering at your pineal gland, growing brighter and brighter until it illuminates your mind and spirit. This practice not only activates the pineal gland, but aligns your entire being with a higher frequency. 
Breath and visualization create a synergy that opens doors to inner wisdom and insight. It's like flipping a switch that lets you access parts of yourself you never knew existed. By practicing this regularly, you'll find yourself more attuned to your spiritual nature, capable of perceiving the world with a clarity that goes beyond ordinary sight. Fear is one of the biggest obstacles to reaching Christ consciousness. Our minds are often filled with worries about the future, regrets about the past, and anxieties about what others think. But Philippians 4, 6-7 offers a comforting reminder, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God will guard your hearts and your minds. Letting go of fear is like shedding a heavy coat you've been wearing for far too long. When we surrender our worries, we make space for faith and gratitude to take root. Imagine shifting from a place of scarcity and fear to one of abundance and trust, where you're aligned with the divine and guided by something greater than yourself. Faith allows us to see beyond immediate circumstances, embracing life as a journey where each step brings us closer to our true selves. This shift is transformative. It's like opening a window in a dark room, allowing light to pour in. As we let go of fear, we become more aligned with Christ consciousness, experiencing life through a lens of peace and purpose. Understanding that we are co-creators with God transforms how we approach life. This perspective is about recognizing the power of our thoughts, intentions, and actions, acknowledging that each choice we make holds the potential to shape our reality. Ephesians 3.20 speaks directly to this, reminding us, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. This verse underscores the idea that we are not passive beings. We carry the ability to create, to impact, and to transform. Imagine the universe as a vast canvas and each of us as artists holding a brush. Every thought, every action adds a new stroke, a new color, contributing to the larger picture. When we realize that we're constantly co-creating, it brings a sense of responsibility, but also of immense possibility. Each day becomes an opportunity to bring more love, compassion, and positive change into the world, not only for ourselves, but for everyone we touch. Living with this awareness fosters a deep sense of purpose and encourages us to move through life with intention, knowing that our presence and choices truly make a difference. The fruits of the Spirit, listed in Galatians 5, 23, offer a roadmap for embodying Christ consciousness. These virtues, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentle self-control aren't just ideals, they're qualities we can cultivate daily. Imagine them as seeds already planted within us, waiting to bloom with our nurturing. Each of these qualities reflects a state of alignment with the divine, a life where our actions come from a place of inner harmony rather than external pressures. Consider self-control, for instance. It's about choosing love over anger, patience over impulsivity. When we cultivate these virtues, we become like a tree firmly rooted in rich soil, able to withstand any storm that comes our way. Living with these qualities isn't always easy, but each moment we choose them over fear, resentment, or impatience, we grow stronger in our connection to Christ consciousness. These virtues aren't just for us, they ripple out, impacting those around us. Think of the joy that kindness brings to others or the peace that radiates from patience. By embodying these qualities, we inspire others to do the same, contributing to a collective awakening that can transform the world. Compassion and forgiveness are essential to Christ consciousness, offering pathways to live with an open heart and an open mind. Ephesians 4, 32 advises, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. These words remind us that kindness isn't simply a nice gesture, it's a powerful expression of our divine nature. When we forgive others, we let go of resentment that only weighs us down, allowing love to flow freely. 
Imagine compassion as a bridge connecting us with others. When we understand another's struggles, we see them through a lens of love instead of judgment. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is like releasing a heavy weight, freeing ourselves and others from the chains of past mistakes. By choosing compassion, we let go of ego, and by forgiving, we dissolve walls that keep us from experiencing unity. Practicing forgiveness and compassion takes courage. It's about recognizing the divine in others, even when they hurt us. This mindset allows us to live with a heart that's expansive and free, fostering relationships built on understanding and mutual respect. In embodying these virtues, we align ourselves with Christ consciousness, embodying love in its purest form. Embracing Christ consciousness isn't a one-time decision. It's a lifelong journey, a practice of consistently choosing alignment with our higher self. Like any meaningful practice, it requires commitment, patience, and a genuine desire for growth. Developing a daily meditation practice, dedicating a space for introspection, and incorporating breathwork are all steps toward this goal. Every day, we have an opportunity to deepen our connection to the divine within, allowing it to guide our thoughts actions, and relationships. Imagine your journey as a path winding up a mountain. Some days, the climb is smooth and rewarding, while other days, it's challenging and requires extra effort. But every step, every moment of dedication, brings us closer to the peak, closer to understanding, and embodying Christ consciousness. There will be moments when old fears or doubts surface, but these are part of the growth process. Embracing this journey means welcoming both the light and the shadows within ourselves, knowing that each one is an opportunity for transformation. As we continue down this path, our awareness expands, and we become more attuned to the presence of the divine within us. Each practice, each moment of mindfulness, reinforces our commitment to spiritual growth. The journey may be ongoing, but with each step, we unlock deeper levels of peace love and understanding, bringing us closer to our true selves and to the light within. As we come to the close of this journey, remember that the road to awakening Christ consciousness is unique to each of us. No two paths are the same, and that's the beauty of it. Embracing this journey is a powerful act of self-love and discovery, a commitment to becoming more aligned with the essence of who we are. So, as you step away from this video, Take a moment to reflect on what resonates most with you. Whether it's creating a meditation space, embracing compassion, or simply practicing mindfulness, each of these actions is a step toward awakening your divine potential. Know that every moment you dedicate to this journey brings you closer to your true nature, allowing your inner light to shine. This awakening isn't an endpoint; It's the beginning of a lifetime of growth, understanding, and connection. Embrace it with an open heart and let the journey unfold. The divine within you is ready to be discovered, to be embraced, and to guide you toward a life of deeper purpose and joy. Keep exploring, keep nurturing that light, and trust that every step you take is leading you closer to the realization of your own Christ consciousness. Your journey has only just begun.